Hello guys, what is up? It is me, Rahul, here bringing you guys a full video here today. A full game against the Vian Canucks, who we defeated down 3 1, won our fourth Stanley Cup. Now, today we're going to be facing them on Christmas Day. That is right, Christmas Day. Um, that is right, guys, so. If you do enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe because this is going to be a Christmas Day Massacre Stanley Cup Rematch 3.0 because uh, <laughs> we're facing them. Also, they don't have an overtime loss. That's Eddie Olchek and Mike Emmerich. You don't know Mike Emmerich actually left the like the NBC NHL NBC like announcing crew like for this and and it's not looking good. And this is a Stanley Cup rematch, so I'm excited for this. And Thatcher Demko is up on board. Goals against save percentage is good. Um, for us, we have Steve Mason. His goals against is bad, but his save percentage is good. So that really all that matters for me today, though. We're going to be doing what we need to do to be successful. Um, yeah. And right off the bat, we're just trying to score goals as much as we can possibly do it at. And we cut for a little bit. We do that one timer. Grandland scores the first goal of the game at 16 minutes and 47 seconds. Now we have the third line out on deck along with the defensemen who I must say they're working their butts off here today and that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be showing that and Ryder who is our great addition to the team has scored his goal and <laughs> That's Gradchev and Kutnitsov um, on deck. And that's his second goal of the season. I'm very proud of Ryder. Um, if you don't know, Riot is also part of the team. But I think in this current state, like during this time, he was injured. So that may be the case, I don't really know, but it is what it is, what happened. So, yeah, right here, Maddox Stafford is, like, going up the ice. Now we're on a power play situation. We actually traded, okay, I have to say this. We actually got a new defenseman, and I traded away. Adam Larson for a defenseman on on the Chicago Black for a defenseman for the Chicago Blackhawks. And that's because Adam Larson was getting injured way too much to the point where I couldn't even have him on the team. And it was getting really annoying at some points where, like, Connor Murphy and Adam Larson, one of them is going to have to be traded at one point. And look right there. Nakia Lazarus scored a goal! <laughs> Six minutes and 31 seconds. Man, you can tell by my voice, like, I'm very mad at that. Like, I am extremely mad. 
at what the at what happened. It happened. You guys are gonna be mad that I traded away Adam Larson for a goalie no, for a defenseman on the Chicago Blackhawks. And everyone is gonna be like, why did you do it? Because I wanted to. I wanted to get rid of as you see right there. We gotta go on Currently, we skipped forward, Alex. Oh, actually, that might be the new addition. <laughs> C. Pochard is our new defenseman. Now, I didn't put this in a video only because I wanted to do it off camera to test it out, but... I tried to get a get rid of Adam Larson and Connor Murphy for draft picks, but it wouldn't let me because of like salary reasons. And I wanted to get him I wanted to get like a player from the Philadelphia Flyers like Frost or even connecting. But that wouldn't even happen. And um Um Pedersen got injured. Now, they're gonna try and find a way to, uh, like, you know, do something about it. And they did right here. At 2 minutes and 24 seconds. Goal, 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 dope in, score the goal. Assisted from, from, assisted by Horvat. <laughs> As you know, okay... I do respect, like, some players, not a lot, okay, so bear that in mind, and respect it, <laughs> put it lightly, respect it, Richard right there, and Connor Murphy right there, up all the ice, Holmberg almost scored the goal, So you can see right there how I use her, my players. Connor Murphy, Richard. Yep, now I'm doing like a. I think that was like in between the deek. Like trick, whatever it is. And now that's the end of the second period. So yeah, guys. I'm excited for this. I hope you all are excited as well. I hope you are enjoying yourselves currently. Let's get it tonight. Right there, Murphy scored a goal. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Alright, so now we're just going to make sure that we're scoring goals by the looks of things as you see. And we're just doing just fine. And bam. Westbound scored a goal. Just like that. No ifs, ands, or buts. I am very excited about what's to come men's and yeah <laughs> I'm very happy for West Bout because we picked him up in the draft and now he is a star a great addition to the team no questions about it and I'm very happy very happy of what he's turned into and the goalies I mean switch because they're being very embarrassed I wonder why they didn't even 
like do anything earlier so yeah by the way this is just in the third period so bear that in mind on what's happening so I'm just so in sync so like what's going on and look look at look okay boom hit all right our hit boom horvat does that deke and scores a goal let me put it on that 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 was a sick goal and give credit to them at four minutes and 32 seconds um it happened on us though, so I don't know how you're gonna feel about that. Yeah. Girl McDonald passed it now to Holmberg. And up to Rock McGinn. He failed. Sedlak to Holmberg. He missed. Got a big hit. Sedlak to Brock McGinn. Grow McNov, who just scored a goal. <laughs> really? Okay, I'll say this. Really, I use my defensemen to score goals. Putting it out there. And let me tell you, it is a re real good feeling that you score with your defensemen because that's just how it is, and I like it. Yeah, I said that because most of the time you feel like your defensemen are there to hit. You know, there could be two way defensemen like J. Bow Meester. Like, I think during his time with Florida, was considered a two way defenseman. He was then traded to Calgary. And he wasn't really like that. But then when he. Went to St. Louis, he kind of found his home. So, like, y yeah, I, I, I know I use J. Mal Meester, but that's how it is. He, he was considered a two way defenseman who could shoot, goal, like, who can score and deliver hits. But, man, he, he, He's a he's a very different player when I looked into him. Um said Dano Shara, like he spent time with like the spent time with like as you know New York New York Islanders, Ottawa Senators, and um the Boss Bruins, now he's on the Washington Capitals. I respect him. He is a Boston Bruins legend and he might as well be inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Yes, I said that. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Y'all are legends in my book as well as for me. I'll see you on the next one and peace!